if we were to add these numbers, I have 34 plus 56. Normally, we would do the 4 plus the 6 first, carry the 1, bring it over to give us a result of 90. That's fine if you're doing it on paper, but if you're doing it in your head, this is a little backwards. This is how you'd do the problem if it was in your head. You'd say 34 plus 56, okay, and you would add this side first. And so you'd add the 34 plus 56. You'd do it by saying it out loud. So you already know what the tens place is. 30 plus 50 gives you 80, and the last part, so you can start to mentally write down an 8 down here, and the 4 plus the 6, you know, ooh, that's going to be a carry, so you quickly change this to be a 90, and that's the result you'd get in your head. So you want to get into the habit of going this way when you add things. And let me show you another example. Suppose we're going to add the numbers 123 and 372. Okay, I'm going to add these in my head. So 123 plus 372, okay, I can already see that 100 and something and 300 and something is going to give me roughly 400. 123 plus 372, okay, that's going to give me a 9. 123 plus 372, and the answer is 495. Now, if you do happen to take a look at this, I knew it was going to be slightly less than 500, because if I look at the top, this is 123, which is slightly less than 125. This one, 372, is slightly less than 375. So those added together are going to give me less than 500, because this is like one and a quarter almost, but not quite. And this is a little less than three and three quarters. So I know my result is going to be slightly less than 500. Okay. Let me show you another one. Okay, if I'm going to do 576 added to 93, how am I going to do this in my head? Okay, so if I was going to do this in my head, I'd say 576 plus 93. 93 actually looks like 100 minus 7. So I can write down in my head, I would write 676 minus 7 and I can see that the 7 is slightly more, there's going to be a carry here. My result is going to be 669. Let's do another one. 432 plus 79. Okay, if I was going to do this in my head, 432 plus 79, okay, I already see it's going to be a 500 because 79 looks like 80, 80 plus 30 something is already going to be more than 100. So I'm going to write down 500, and then I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to say 500, okay, so I can look here. This is going to be a zero. Oh, but I see a carry here, so this is going to be 511. Okay, another way to do this problem is to say 432 plus 80 minus 1. Okay, so 432 plus 80, that's going to be 400, and the 8 and the 3 is going to make this a 5. And this is going to be a 1 and a 2 minus 1. The result is 511. Let me show you how to multiply from left to right. Suppose I have a number 300 and I want to multiply it by 126. Okay? So the first thing I would do is I'd multiply 3 times 100. So the 100 is from this number. Okay? And I'd get 300. Then I would multiply 3 times 20. Okay? So the 3 times the hundreds, then the 3 times the 20, and then I'm going to add those together. So the 3 times 20 is 60. Add these results, I get 360. And then I'm going to continue. I'm going to multiply the 3 times the 6. That gives me 18. Add the result together, 378. Don't forget, it's 300, not just 3. So you're going to have to add two zeros to the end. My result is 37,800. That's how you want to practice multiplying from left to right. It's much easier in your head.